Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my survival island. Today, we're going to take a look at getting some other animals besides chickens spawning for us, and we're going to build a house. Are you ready? Hope so. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be building, uh, getting our house situation under control, and we're going to be building a passive mob farm. The way we're going to do that is we're going to be tearing down all of this dirt here, all this sand to sea level. Before we get to that, though, I've got to say, wow, the support on episode one was absolutely amazing. You guys blew it out of the park. Tons of likes, tons of comments, just amazing. And it sounds like you guys are just as, if not more, excited than I am for this series. Again, we're not replacing anything. It's just we're going to be exploring a few different things, a few different goals with this series. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be having fun here, just like we're going to be having fun elsewhere on the channel. But again, uh, what we're doing here oh, is tearing out some of our farmland by jumping on it. Let's grab the hoe there and we'll replace this. And I'll let you know a little bit about what has changed since we were last together. Okay, so I spent a couple of Minecraft days and nights just farming up this oak wood. And we're going to be tearing this down now because we need to get this dirt out of here. So I spent some time farming it, and we had some visitors. Uh, one was more wanted than others. So we got some string from a spider, a couple of spiders, actually. Did we get any creepers? I can't remember if we got any creepers. Um, I think I left them alone. We also had a couple zombies come and pay us a visit, but I have lit everything up. We don't want any mob spawns right now because we want this in a fairly controlled environment and you'll notice no armor and the iron sword is not necessarily the best and we still don't even have enough string for a bow so we're not doing too well in terms of basic weapons and armor hopefully we get that rolling here soon but I haven't done much mining either so anyway we've got we've got a lot of stuff ahead of us so so yeah, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take all this dirt that we've been gathering, or that we will be gathering, and we're going to carry a line that's going to hopefully take some grass out to a platform we're going to have over there of just grass and torches. And what that should do is let some of the neutral mobs, the passive mobs, spawn. That is cows, pigs, sheep, maybe hor no, horses. No, I think we have to be on a plains biome. What biome are we in, actually? What's this say? Where is that? It's moved around. So in 1.8, it was in one spot. 1.9, forest. I don't think we're on a plains. No, no, forest. It's all forest here. But over here, beach. Yeah, beach. Okay, so we won't be getting any horses spawning, which is fine. But we need something other than what our current food situation is. And we're just eating apples. You know, we had a little crash. And then I thought I had come back from it appropriately and had started recording. But apparently I didn't. So, yes, we've got apples online. I was in the midst of clearing out some of those and java crashed and i think it's between java optifine minecraft and the nvidia drivers which i have been having significant trouble with lately i had thought i'd gotten that Ooh, a spider this is a good thing so i thought i'd gotten it but apparently not let's see if we can take this guy on i need a spider come here come here buddy okay so this slows them down a bit, which is good because our armor situation is absolutely terrible. So we've got a third piece of string, which is really good. So since that little crash that I thought I had recovered from and recorded, what I've done is I've torn down some of these trees and I put 
all of the chickens into here. I thought I had more, but I guess not. So, uh, what we're going to do now is plant that. And we'll get some more, hopefully some more of that going. We've got a couple of pieces of wheat now. And we'll see if we can get a couple more chickens in here. Some more chickens would be good. Still unlucky on those. Okay, that's fine. I wanted to keep these guys together because eventually we'll get some hoppers under them. And we can start collecting those, those eggs so we can get more chickens. And then once we start getting some more chickens in, maybe we can start eating things other than apples. But what I'm going to do, as I said, we're going to be taking down this to sea level. We're going to carry that out a little ways, try and build... A little passive mob spawning area. We'll get some cows, pigs, and sheep going. Hopefully, if my understanding of the spawn mechanics are or is correct. So we shall see. It's going to be a test. I haven't done it in creative mode, so I don't know. You'll find out with me. But what we're going to do is fire up the camera account, get that going. A little third-person time lapse to clear this out and build that platform, and maybe have the lovely option of watching some grass grow. All right, let's cue the music and let's get started on this thing. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed that little time lapse. I made some modifications here. Instead of having a single line of dirt going out there carrying the grass, I expanded it to five wide just so the grass would grow faster. And so there we go. We've, we've got some grass out here. In the meantime, I've done a little bit of work and I've done some research. I'll tell you about the research in just a moment. The work here is we've got a height limiter on our wood farm, our tree farm. We've expanded the wheat here, in fact. There we go. Take a look at that Why don't ya? And the wheat goes there, seeds go there, okay. And any more? No other volunteers, okay, that's fine. So we've expanded the wheat farm. I've also moved the chickens into this one by one area. We've put them on top of a hopper. Yes, the first hopper of the series. We're collecting eggs. My goal is to eventually get a full double chest, and then I'm going to slaughter all of them and cook them and eat them so that we have something other than apples. Yes, I'm getting tired of apples also because apples don't give us that much in terms of food. So because our um, our, our food is actually doing well, our, our farm is, is producing. So we've got some wheat coming in so we can make some bread, which will be pretty good. Uh, but, but yeah, I think meat is a better way, a better option here in Minecraft than bread or apples. So uh, the other things that we don't, you know, we don't quite have available are carrots and potatoes. We can get those from zombies if we uh, so chose, but you know, I'm trying to avoid combat for the moment because this is the combat update and we've got, um, well, we don't have any armor and our weapons are rather minimal at the moment. I also did some mining while I was waiting for that grass to grow and we got down to my standard mining layer down at diamond level. We don't have any diamonds yet. I'll bring you in for the first set of diamonds. Don't worry. 
Got some redstone, got some gold, but uh, all in all, not doing too badly there. What we're going to do now is get a rough foundation going for our, our house. Okay, so we are doing a house right now, even though we don't actually have a... Uh, no, 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 I, I wanted a slab right there. We don't have a bed yet so it doesn't really make sense to have a house but you know that's just one of the things you do early on you get a house set up in minecraft that's your that's one of the first goals if you will so that's what we're going to be doing and we're going to get kind of a foundation set up here we're not going to finish it today because we just don't have tons of time we've spent a lot of other time taking care of things around here i mean you can see We've drastically reduced the footprint of the island, so we have less room to defend in case of baddies coming around. And that's a good thing. What we're going to do is come over here on top of, uh, let's see, this one. And then we'll take out that and we'll put a regular plank. Can I get this? No. I want that. Waste not, want not. And we'll put that sand back. Where did it go? There we go. Ooh, going against, going against the water. Uh, uh, okay, come on, depth strider. Oh, I missed depth strider. All right, there we go. So what we're gonna do up here is bring in a little door action, right like so, and to make sure that we don't create a mob farm. We don't want to do that yet. Eventually, but not yet. So no mob farms there. And we'll do. Da, 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 da. there there and then a couple of filler blocks here and we're going to bring in some upside down stairs like this just to get an idea of no you know what we'll go underwater we won't be under there for too long so we'll come over here and what i'm basing this off of if you have done modded you've probably seen these structures around if your mod pack has the witcheries mod in it and that adds some interesting structures and one of them is the hobgoblin hut so uh, when i first saw one i thought somebody else had built it on the hypermind server and i was afraid that i was encroaching on their territory but no it was a mod that had generated it as part of the world gen so it's called the hobgoblin hut i don't know if it has any significance in terms of uh, spawning or anything but but yeah, there we go. Uh, what we're doing now is just adding a bit extra, make this look like there is some structural supports just to give it uh, a rough, rough idea of structural supports. We're building on sand. That doesn't seem very wise, but you know what? That's what we're doing. That's what we kind of have to do right now. You know what we could do? Some, how about some cobble right here? And you and I know that there's just sand underneath it, but um, but overall, if somebody else comes in, they won't know unless they start digging. And so there we go. So we'll have a little bit of a footer going, and that's, that's good. Okay, so it's at least a little bit stronger. We're not gonna finish this today because we have run out of time, but there we go. We've got a little bit of a house coming together. We're gonna carry this over the water, maybe put some glass in the in the floor so we can watch the ocean maybe a little fishing pier off the back and then i'm going to carry that same idea around for the various other buildings that we need like our uh, brewing once we get to that point smelting uh, storage we'll have different huts around for that and that's kind of what we're going to go with but uh let's see the other problem is that it's possible i can't remember if i mentioned this already but it's possible that uh, because that is in the ocean biome that animals won't spawn at all so we may end up having to come back here to the forest area and spread the grass out here and then maybe just move those farms out uh, so the tree farm out there and then the wheat farm and any other farms that we might have to deal with we might just put them back out there so that time lapse may have been for nothing who knows we shall see um, if you know for sure if any of the spawning mechanics have changed in 1.9 and in 1.8 and 1.7 it's uh animals would not have spawned if i'd known that beforehand i wouldn't have done that but you know what it's nice nice uh, little experiment and hey we're learning together anyway 
Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to share with me. It means a lot. Let's get into a proper F5. Ooh, it's kind of dark. That's weird. It's like a lighting glitch on me. Interesting. What if I did this? No. Weird. Okay, whatever. It just looks kind of, kind of dark. Anyway, if you have enjoyed, think about hitting the like button. Helps me out a ton. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. That way you are up to date on everything that's going on on the channel. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for this series, any anything about, uh, about the Hobgoblin Hut, any other structures, maybe we don't keep that same theme going. Maybe we just have different types of buildings. So if you got any suggestions for that, I am open to them. Feel free to leave them in the comment section down below or catch me on Twitter at MC Soap the Great. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.